Well, I managed to score another computer today. Got this one for um, 10 quid at a car boot sale. So, not too bad. It is a Dell Dimension 8300. And it runs Windows XP Home Edition at the moment. There's a DVD reader and a CD rewriter there, kind of like what you'd expect. Oh yeah, and uh, underneath here, let's get the light on. We have two USBs and the headphone jack. And the service tag, of course, which is useful for downloading drivers. Which I had to do because for some reason he formatted it and didn't install the audio driver or the um, network driver which was a bit of a pain, but I did manage to get it working. Well, at least he was smart enough to format the drive, so uh, I'll give him credit for that. So many people sell computers to me and haven't even formatted the drive. I mean, uh, all these laptops, apart from that one which was mine originally, uh, so this one, this one, this one, and this one, had completely unformatted drives. Some of them had addresses and phone numbers and everything, but uh, being the good person I am, I did delete them. But you know, if they fall into the wrong hands, the worst can really happen. And that was reason number 457,000 why you should erase your drives. Of course, the power supply and everything. Um, this is actually the CPU fan, believe it or not, because it's a, a very weird design in these Dells. Com port and parallel, and pff, I'm not going to be using either of those, unless it's for... Ah, actually, I do have a use for it. I've just thought of something. Future video. <laughs> and the PS2 connectors, for some reason, uh, in fact, no, yeah, just PS2 connectors. He said they didn't work, but they did. So that was a bit weird. And the line-in signal and all that other gump. And uh, many USBs. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight if you include the front ones. Network adapter and the graphics card. The DVI I can't get working, but the VGA works perfectly. For some reason, when I had no driver, I could I could go up to 1920 by 1080, but when I installed the driver, it uh, only went up to 1280 by 720, or by uh, 1024. Sorry, 720 ratio for my monitor, which was a bit annoying, but. Right now, let's have a look at the inside. I'll save the boot up for last. Uh, it's got that arrow on there, stating that that's the way you open it. Oh God, dog and cat running around. And uh, I'll show you the way you open it. You simply grab that end. Where am I then? That way. This way, there you go. So with the back panel facing towards you, and then push the buttons in, and then all will be revealed. So, we have half a gig of RAM, unfortunately I do not have, that happens to be the one kind of RAM I don't have uh, anything for, so I'll have to uh, see if I can get some from somewhere maybe, maybe in a local computer shop or something. In fact, there's a Greek guy in the town that does a pretty good job. And that's how it calls the CPU. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no fan directly on it. But instead, <sighs> it's one that goes out to the back, which makes a lot of sense. And the hard drive, it's all quick release stuff. You know, there's no, um, no pissing about with screws, which is pretty good. And of course, the grippy IDU cables. So yeah, pretty well designed on the inside. It's all on a hinge, all screwless, and it's uh, very spaced out, which is uh, something that's very good if you're working on the hardware, because my computer there is just full of stuff. I mean, uh, it is ridiculous. Almost impossible to work on, but that is why I like Dell. And the service tag for this one is written right there. If you type that in on Dell's website, 
you will be redirected to all the drivers and everything that you need and it will tell you whether it's optional, recommended or compulsory. So network would be uh, recommended and video would be compulsory and stuff like that. So let's go uh, boot this thing up then. I'll uh, pop it here. Probably give you a jump cut right now. Now the sound does work but I uh, don't have any speakers available. The speakers are taken up by my PS4. So I'm just going to plug some headphones in. These are uh, Bose Quiet Comfort 15s, which are pretty good headphones. See, isn't that good? No risk of breaking any cables. Right, so, plug that in. It just growled at me for some reason, and it does that sometimes. So let's uh, switch on the dimension. That sounds so cool. That button itself is just so 80s future looking. The dimension power. It's remarkably quiet as well. Not necessarily a bad thing for a computer. Intel Pentium 4 as well. I don't know how many times I've seen that. <laughs> XP is losing support in 2015, which is a kind of a good thing really, because I am sick of Windows XP, quite frankly. <laughs> but hey, the nostalgia of it is uh, pretty cool sometimes. 3D Pinball, Microsoft SAM. <laughs> in fact, those two things alone are the things that make Windows XP withstandable to me. Not the fastest of machines, but um, it runs YouTube pretty well actually. Full screen, it goes a bit, yeah, but you can watch YouTube videos. So if you're looking for a cheap computer to give to someone just because they need a computer, then uh, get a second-hand Dimension 8300. The username is Bat for some reason, and I set my own password so. Okay, I haven't changed my background yet. But as you can see, they did delete pretty much everything, apart from the operating system, which was a fresh install. CD rewriter, DVD and CD reader. Haven't tried to burn anything with it yet, but you know, however things go. And it's actually been booted all this time, good. <clears throat> so let's turn the old headphones on. Let's turn them into speakers. Hold on. Uh, turn that one to high. This is going to be so ghetto, but you know, who cares? YouTube load. Alrighty. Uh, let's try and load something from the worst channel on YouTube. There we go. Yep. This guy. Can't stand him. Terrible, isn't he? But yeah, YouTube does work pretty well until you go into full screen. But if you're not a big YouTuber, which I am, it's lagging a little bit, but YouTube isn't going to be this thing's main purpose. Stuff like Twitter, Facebook, all runs flawlessly. But of course you do need antivirus. See I've got AVG on here, AVG 2014. 
And of course the um let's go into the system properties. Oh no license number. So um come on, there you go. 2.8 gigahertz with 512 megabytes of RAM. Hopefully I'll be able to upgrade the RAM soon. Registered to Batwing. Computer description of a kitchen computer. Who has one in their kitchen? Seriously. I'm going to turn on automatic updates. Might as well. But anyway, hopefully those updates will keep me safe for a while. Unless I get I have to get a service pack five on there or something. Or four. Can't remember what it is now. <laughs> it's been a long time since I used Windows XP. But yeah, there's a pretty nice little Dell dimension. And I'll get along with doing these updates. Anyway, I have a few Discogs orders, so you music loving people stay tuned. And the computer people stay tuned, because I might be doing some stuff with this. Thanks for watching.